Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lyle Manor Vlog. I'm Chris, and I know it's been a couple weeks, but things have been a little busy after the Oscars. But at the end of this video, I will have the Oscar giveaway winner for you. So there's that. But it's been uh, spring break time for you college kids, and spring break will be coming up for some of you elementary kids. So I was thinking, where would you want to go after this crappy, crappy winter we've all had? for spring break. I mean, okay, yeah, people go to Florida or the Bahamas or or Southern California, but I was thinking, why not go to a fictional place? Like from our television, movies, books, comics, you know, a fictional place would be pretty fun to visit. So I compiled a list of some of the places I personally would love to visit for maybe just spring break or probably a couple days. First off, how could I not mention Metropolis from the DCU? I mean, who would not want to go to a kind of not too distant future, high techy kind of world that Superman and a bunch of supervillains and heroes live in and, and exist in? It'd be awesome. And also within that same universe, maybe swing by Smallville and stop at the town, maybe grab a coffee, but I don't drink coffee, so maybe like a... Uh, a tea or something, see if uh, Lana or maybe uh, Chloe show up. And while I'm still hanging around in the DCU, why not swing on up to uh, the Fortress of Solitude, hang out there, maybe bring my park. I know we've dealt with a lot of cold weather here and a, like record snow from where I'm from, but I would still love to go see the Fortress of Solitude. And maybe after that, swing by Wayne Manor. Uh, more importantly, head down to the Bat Cave. Check out that big giant penny in, in the uh, the T Rex, or maybe check out the Bat Computer, or heck, the Batmobile. Even come on. Okay, so you don't want to hang out in a universe that has people like Lex Luthor that want to take over the world and could possibly kill you. So why don't you just take a trip across the pond and maybe go to 221B Baker Street and hang out with Sherlock Holmes and uh, John Watson. Maybe help them solve a crime or two. Or get ridiculed by Sherlock. Okay, so you don't really want to work on your vacation or your spring break. And so why don't you go to a nice little bit warmer place. Go to Hill Valley. Hang out in the Clock Square. Um, I know I have already. Well, not really. I mean, I visited, you know, the Clock Tower. Um, I even went and found the McFly home, got to hang out there. Uh, went down a tunnel looking for Doc to maybe drop down uh, some flags so I can fly off in the hover converted DeLorean. We're going the right way too. And down comes the road. <laughs> Watch out for manure trucks around the corner. Um, but yeah, those are all places you could check out in California and I highly recommend it if you're ever out in the LA area But I mean who wouldn't want to go to Hill Valley? Of course you got the chances of running into a truck that's full of manure or Getting beat up, beat up by Biff or but I mean I'd want to go grab a Pepsi maybe at the cafe 80s Okay, so I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Marvel. I mean I've already mentioned DC So why don't we go to some Marvel places? Let's see um, maybe the Avengers Tower That'd be a cool place to check out, like from the Avengers movie. I know it used to be Tony Stark's, but it looks pretty cool. It's got a nice view of New York City. Not a big fan of the city life? Well, why not swing down to Westchester and go to the Jean Grey School for the Gifted, uh, former Xavier School for the Gifted. Hang out there. Hang out with your favorite X-Men. It'd be awesome. Well, I, uh, I mean, Cyclops wouldn't be there and some of those other people, but Logan would be there. Storm would be there. Um, you could... Just don't use the bathrooms because you might uh, all of a sudden get thrown into a danger room. Uh, so you just got to be careful around there. But it'd be pretty cool to hang out with the X-Men for your spring break, I guess. Okay, so maybe hanging out with the X-Men is not your cup of tea. Well, are you a Muppets fan? Why not go hang out at the Muppet Studios? In the Muppet movie, the Muppets kind of took it back over and they refurbished it. So you can hang out, check out a show, hang out with all your favorite Muppets. I mean, if they're, that is if they're not touring. That is not a promotion at all for the new movie Muppets Most Wanted that comes out this Friday. Okay, so I know the Muppets are an acquired taste, so why don't we go to a completely different planet? Why don't we check out Cloud City? 
Uh, you get to go see Lando Calrissian. Um, he might have Darth Vader waiting for you, but you could go to a cool cloud city. It's the closest you really get to like a Jetsons type place. You're you're flying above the clouds. It's really cool. Okay, no, all of you saying why not Tatooine or Naboo? No, no. Why would you want to go there? Naboo, you run into freaking Jar Jar. Who would want to go see Jar Jar? And Tatooine is a freaking desert. The only thing cool there would be pod racing. Come on, people. Okay, I know what you're saying. Enough of these movies and crazier places. How about something simple? So why not go to New New York from Futurama? Uh, you'd have robots, um, aliens walking around, heads floating in jars. You could go and hang out with the professor and, and Zoidberg. And, and Fry and Leela and heck you could even go on a delivery with them go visit some of those crazy other places go to the go to the moon of New New York and go hang out at that cool adventure park there now a Futurama fan more of a Simpsons fan well why not go down to Springfield go to Moe's grab a beer there if you're too young to drink go to the Android's dungeon pick up some comics pick up radioactive man number one I'm sure you could easily get that from the comic, comic book guy you could go hang out in Bluffington, go see Doug, Skeeter, Patty Mayonnaise, go go see the Beats in concert. I'm sure they're all they're always playing in Bluffington. <laughs> go check them out. By the way, uh, Bluffington is from the TV show Doug for all you kids that did not grow up in the late 80s, early 90s. Okay, so you want to look for some adventure? Um, why not go to King's Landing? Okay, you might get decapitated, but you could sure as hell beat the crap out of King Joffrey. That little shit. Want to hang in that kind of fictional, mystical realm? Well, why not go to Hogsmeade and, and pick up some, some cool uh, wizardry stuff? Or go to Hogwarts and hang out with Harry Potter and the guys. Now that, you know, what's his name that can't be named is not there anymore. Want the adventure, but not, you know, the mystical magic? Well, is science considered magic? If not, then you could go swing down to Costa Rica and visit Jurassic Park. Um, you really would have to fend for yourself, but that'd be a pretty awesome place to visit. You'd actually see some dinosaurs. I mean, just watch out for the raptors. They, they travel in packs. You might be seeing one here, but that's when the attack comes from you from the sides. Okay, you don't want to get chased around by dinosaurs. Well, what about being chased around by Goombas and turtles and, and maybe King Koopa? Would you like to hang out in the Mushroom Kingdom? Um, I'm talking like the N64 version on, not the flat 2D um, world. That'd be kind of crappy to hang around in. All right, so if you don't really want to fend for your life, why not just kick back and grab a beer and hang out at uh, maybe McLaren's Pub? You know, from How I Met Your Mother sit in the uh, the group's booth kind of hang out there reminisce with them about the last nine years as they go on and ted finally meets the mother and the show ends and you have nothing to do because that show is your life and uh so they have to find another show to watch why do things always have to end why can't they just keep going i'm kidding um but yeah go hang out at mclaren's pub i know there is a real mclaren's pub out in new york that this one is based off of but hey It'd be worth a shot. You get to hang out with Marshall, Lily, Barney, Ted, Robin. I mean, Robin can tell you about her time that she was with S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay, so that's my list of places, uh, fictional places, I would visit for spring break. Um, let me know what you would pick and put it in the comments down below. As I promised you, we have the winner of Doc Brown from our Oscar giveaway. The winner is Jeff Jankowski. He tweeted that he thought American Hustle would win. Unfortunately, American Hustle didn't win, but hey, Jeff, you still get to win by winning Doc Brown. Now you just have to go find Marty, or you can just travel on time with Doc. As always, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. You can follow us at this address. You'll get updates when videos are out, and also random kind of news and geeky news updates. Don't forget to click on subscribe down there. We'll show up in your YouTube feed, and click like if you like this video. Uh, we might make some more of them. For the Mild Matter Vlog, I'm Chris. Okay, so if you don't want to get chased by dinosaurs, would you rather be chased by Goombas and turtles? Well, why not go to the Magical Kingdom? Oh, f hey, that's a Disney. <laughs> and, uh, American Hustle would win Best Picture, and if I remember correctly, they lost. They didn't win American, or American Slave. <laughs> God damn! American Slave won. Sorry, Jeff.